Venice may have gotten attention with the arrival of Benefer and the arm nuzzles seen around the world, but the secret to Venice's viral moments was a physical barrier keeping the Hollywood glamour far from the press. Critic Cody Derricks was there and saw it in person. There was no mistaking it. It was a wall, and it was meant to keep you out and keep them in. Hi, hi, how are you? In Toronto, there was more access, which saw some stars returning and readjusting. I feel weird, you know? I mean, I feel really weird. It's like something that should be familiar, but it feels very new and strange. Just even being in a pair of high-heeled shoes, I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to make it. Critics who came back also had to adjust. The streets are vacant. Uh, there's a lot less people, no line. But the digital ticket buying system forced on the press created havoc. It was very frustrating. Instead of having critics and industry people line up at uh, different venues to see whatever movie they, they wish for, uh, they had to get tickets online and like fight amongst themselves virtually. While the COVID precautions meant smaller audiences, more testing and no popcorn, TIFF says their focus was clear. For us, it, it's all about safety. We need to do what we felt was right for us and for Toronto and for our guests. Two films brought fan favorite Benedict Cumberbatch back. He says nothing replicates that feeling when the lights go down. When you put your phone away, when you're there, you're attentive, and for two-ish hours, you're absorbed in the world of storytelling that we're lucky enough to give uh, in the form of cinema. I think it's a really exciting thing to be going back to. And as the first reactions for highly anticipated titles like Dune trickle out. Phenomenal. It was fantastic. Even during the pandemic, the film festival effect is real. Eli Glasner, CBC News, Toronto.